if you're a deer hunter, you're probably going to say a 338 is not the correct bullet for going deer hunting. And you will be correct. I am not a deer hunter. I kill deer on our tree farms and farms for crop control. I'm not there to play games with them. When I shoot them, I want them to drop down dead and not even twitch. The deer for me are a pest, so I take care of business. And I have all kinds of rifles and shotguns in my arsenal that I, that I have. But the rifle that I picked for crop control is the 338. I don't want the deer to get wounded and have to trail a blood trail. I don't want the deer to go down and get back up and run off while I, you know, pause to pick up my, my empty shell or something like that. I don't want the deer to go running off to the neighbor's property and then I have to trespass to get it. I want that sucker to drop dead. And a 338 just does just that. So it serves the purpose. Now, if I was to go deer hunting, you know, for sport and pleasure, yeah, I'd probably pick a 30-30 or my 12-gauge Browning with buckshot in it. You know, that's what I use when I go sport hunting. But at our farm, we're not killing the deer for pleasure or for, for sport. We're killing them because they're a pest. And the most efficient gun that I have found for doing that is the 338. It is a large size bullet. I'm not saying to use it for rabbits and raccoons and groundhogs, but for deer, it does knock them down. This is an aerial view of our Fountainville, PA sales location on Route 313, which is about a mile and a half west of Doylestown on Route 313 in Bucks County, PA. We're open seven days a week from 7 a.m. till dark. So call us at 215-651-8329.